We have started recording. Oh boy. Oh, fuck. Oh boy. What's, what's, Ohio Fried Chicken was called. What's baby. Gucci Gang? Okay. We're back with the best of the worst. Our completely original uh, series. web series. <laughs> the rules oh, yeah, are slightly right. changed. That's right. Are slightly changed. We have here six bad movies and one good film. I could say it starts off with that. Yes. Six assumedly bad yeah, films. Yes. And one definitely good film. 100%. The first film on the docket tonight is the sequel to Best of the Worst Favorite, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf 2. You'll note that uh, Michael J. Fox has been replaced with Jason Bateman. And more importantly, Teen Wolf 2 is not spelled Teen Wolf the number 2. It is Teen Wolf also. I don't understand that. I, I never understand that. I think it's that. he is That's also a Teen Wolf. Oh. Like Michael J. Fox. Uh, high school was easy, but college... High school was notoriously not easy. That was the whole movie. But college is a whole different animal. Continuity. Epic. Meet a college freshman who's having trouble fitting into his jeans. Spelled, spelled like, uh, jeans. like, like, DNA type jeans. Family ones that, oh, they clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Family ones, that is. When he finds out his uncle and cousin are werewolves. And so is he! Now, the clean-cut science student is the star of the boxing team. Not basketball. Boxing. Starring Jason Bateman from Arrested Development. Whoa! This four-fang film is sure to bring out the party animal in everyone. I like that. I'm excited. Uh, when was this released? 90... 87. This was right after How Can I Tell If I'm Really In Love. This is my brother Jason. We'd like to get you together with about a hundred other guys who feel just the way you do. Alright, next All right. movie. The next film on the docket. Thumb Wars, The Phantom Cuticle. Every hand has a thumb. Uh, Wait, uh, is that the tagline? That's the tagline. Oh, Every God. hand has a thumb. Unless you, you don't. Yeah, look, you got a you got a little Death Star thumb and a, a Millennium Falcon hand. Well, we purchased it for four dollars and fifty cents, <laughs> so I think we'll get a lot of quality out of it. Created by the writer of The Nutty Professor, Ace Ventura: When Nature Calls, and Patch Adams, this yeah. hilarious thumbmation spoof features reluctant hero Loke Groundrunner and his tasty companion. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Bonhead. His tasty companion. His tasty companion. Someone has a finger fetish. Like yeah, this mm -hmm. guy. <laughs> has a what finger is fetish. his name? Bob Odenkirk. Bob. Who is it? Bob Odenkirk. Steve Odenkirk. Steve Odenkirk. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Bob Odenkirk? A separate man. All right. <laughs> so hold on to your cuticles. Eat your peas. Why? <laughs> what the fuck is that? And get ready for the first and only all thumbs space epic. Our third film. Tommy, why don't you talk about it? So our this, we have the uh, widescreen special edition of Surf's Up. Uh, I'm, hey. I'm really excited for this one. It has a two thumbs up. Uh, so come join Cody, Shia LaBeouf. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. A I love for Shia Penguin LaBeouf. As he beautiful when he says, when he says uh, join Cody, Shia LaBeouf, put, like, bring up a picture of, of him in like, horrible clown makeup or whatever from, from Honey Boy. Like some picture from Honey Boy where he just looks fucking terrible. That's my idea. Or I'll put just a terrible picture. Or yeah, him. the one where he's got the bag over his head. I was thinking just like find a bit really pic picture of him like extremely drunk or really fucked up. And when I say, I love Shia LaBeouf, it shows up on the screen. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Start over. Start over. Start over. God damn it. Come join Cody, Shia LaBeouf. I love Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> During his adventure, he meets many new friends, including Surf Nut Chicken Joe. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> surf Nut Chicken Joe. Chicken Joe is his name, and oh, he okay. is a Surf Nut. Cody believes that winning is everything until he meets a geek, Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> no! Our next film. Uh, in honor of uh, Joel Schumacher, who recently yes. passed away. Seriously, I thought rest in peace. Rest in peace, Joel Schumacher. You've made two terrible films that everybody knows, and a bunch of terrible films that... 
nobody probably remembers. So rest in peace. But I decided it would be a fun idea to have Batman and Robin on the docket because it is a movie that everybody on Earth has made fun of. That's right. We, uh, and we have not a disrespect yet. by by doing it, but I think it fits with with what we do. Fortunately, there is no description on the back. But this is our four film pack with two really good movies and two really bad movies. Um, Batman and Robin is one of them. All right. Next up, this is a I won't I won't say home movie because we didn't make it at home. Uh, there was this club after school at, uh, in, at, elementary in elementary school. school, so we were very young. It's called The Forgotten Orb. <laughs> this is when I was in sixth grade and he and was in And I was in the third grade, and it's from this, this class group that was called Let's Make a Movie. And we made a movie, and it was bad, and I hope that we land on this. I hope we land I hope it's interesting. on this film. I hope we do not. It could be oh, sure. Next right. film, Garfield, Garfield the, the Movie! movie. Charming and it had the thumbs up. Just like Surf's Up. Great. Talk about living large. Garfield. <laughs> hilariously voiced by Bill Murray. Lies oh, around the house, Murray. eats lasagna, watches TV, and makes wisecracks. Garfield appears to be in the doghouse. But not for long. When Odie is abducted by a dog trainer, Garfield must get off the couch to rescue the precious pooch. Just throw it on the couch. And now we have our one good film of the night. Which I have One seen. of my all-time favorite films, which Tommy has not seen, RoboCop. <laughs> the future of law enforcement meets the ultimate high-definition experience, newly remastered, unrated director's cut of RoboCop on Blu-ray for spectacular image quality. When a good cop, Peter Weller, gets blown away by ruthless thugs, innovative scientists and doctors piece him back together as an unstoppable crime-fighting cyborg called RoboCop. But while cleaning up the streets of violence-ravaged Detroit, Robocop oh is God. tormented oh no. by memories <laughs> it's the of his former life. Are you okay? Do you need a break? We can cut the camera. Uh, Robocop is tormented by memories of his former life, and now he's out for more than justice. He wants revenge. What a hero. All right. You guys know what time it is. It's time to get out our, the wheel. our free app. <laughs> Best of the worst. Episode three. Here we go. I'm hoping for Forgotten or motherfucker. Please. Please. How long was Robocop? <laughs> well, so do I. <laughs> Alright, ready? Fuck, 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 fuck. Just watch it. It's gonna be it's gonna be thumbnail or Please be forgotten orb. I've never been this nervous. Team uh, Hope uh, Two! Oh no! Damn. That's the worst That's one! That's the worst one it could have been. <laughs> two. Alright, uh, well, two. let's go watch it. Epic. I'm so excited. Yay, Team Wolf 2. My feelings for you are real. They have nothing to do with the wolf. Those others could care less about the real you. Look, I'm late and you're wrong. I'm late and you're wrong. Time for our next pick. All right, here we go. Please be forgotten, Orb. I swear to fucking God, if it's not forgotten, Orb. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
my god! That's the most terrifying image I've ever seen! Alright. Man, we watched Thumb Wars. We watched Wars. Thumb Wars. Wow. That was funny. Movie. That was a. Yeah. Oh man, we're gonna make for a great uh, discussion. Remember when there were thumbs? Yes. <laughs> if we don't get the threatened orb, we'll save it for a future video. It'll happen someday. It will someday. happen eventually. That's all I need a guarantee of. The final spin. It's all, it's all come it, down to this I moment. just want it to either be Forgotten Orb, Garfield, or Surf's Up. I want it to be Forgotten Orb or RoboCop. Me too. I think I'm... I mostly want RoboCop. I Maybe know. Garfield. If it surfs up, I'm going to blow my brains out. <laughs> I think if it surfs up, we're all going to blow our brains out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Ah! <laughs> no! I can't! No, 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 one we have to watch too. That's, that's, that's the, the end of the night. So as soon as there was the first wave, right? There was the first surfer. But right. <laughs> no. All he needed was like a... Um, you know, just a soak. Did you see that? Real quick. Like watch. It is discussion it's time. It's midnight. It's midnight. Pretty, cl pretty actually early. We watched, yeah, early yeah. for us. I think really? our first one ended at like one a.m. and the second one, the Halloween one, ended at two. Which Ugh, was that was a lot. Too late, but we feel very energized. Yes, this episode. very excited. That makes we are very sweaty, discussion. but we feel great. Yes. Yeah. Um, we watched three movies. We did. The first movie that we watched tonight, which uh, I was the advocate for, so I'll take responsibility and talk about it. You should. Uh, <laughs> the sequel to one of my favorite films of all time. Teen Wolf 2. Teen Wolf 2 is the story of Jason Bateman, who plays Todd. He goes to college. He meets Styles, who was in the first movie, and they recast him because they're insane, or Jerry Levine said no. Um, hopefully it's because Jerry Levine said no. Um, <laughs> uh, Chubby is there. John Aston plays the Dean. John Aston being the guy who played... Gomez Adams in in the Adams family. What did you think of the film, Tom? As someone who hasn't seen, yeah, Teen this was your so first time. I'll give you. A, so my thoughts are, it's pretty shit. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's fine. not good. The problem, I think I said this while we were watching it. The problem is that it is Teen Wolf two and not Teen Wolf one because as an individual movie, yeah, yeah, you said it's this. fine. It doesn't help that Teen Wolf one exists. Like, I think this would be fine on its own, but you're comparing it to... It's trying to exactly replicate, beat by beat, one of the best movies I've ever seen. Jason Bateman, in this movie, is a terrible lead character. Yes. So, when we first meet him, our first, like, kind of real introduction to, like, who he is and how he acts around people mm -hmm. and how he, how he treats the whole college scene is really... You get, like, two things. And one is, like, sexually harassing a woman... <laughs> He he goes to the library and picks up a, a book and like he and the the love interest character have like a meet cute where they're pulling on the same book at the library and they're like that was my book but, that, <laughs> but he but like then he's like you stupid her. bitch <laughs> get my fucking book I have to deal with this fat <laughs> soul who lives in my fucking dorm and I want the fucking book to give it to me and then he like storms out listen. All I want to do is go to the school, but I'm here on some stupid sports scholarship with a coach who wants me to have two right thumbs. I got a roommate that sunbathes with a 40-watt light bulb, some fat kid eating me out of house and home. I got Dean Dud's dog trying to bite my leg off, and you want the only book that I want in this entire library? Shh! Well, I'll tell you what. 
You can have this book, and this book, and this book, and this book. And you can keep that book as well. Shh! You too, buddy. Teen we'll Wolf do. 2 is inferior to its predecessor, but not completely hateable. It's not the worst thing. It, was it's, a like a, it's like a nap movie. Like, if you're mm -hmm. going down to, like, nap... It's have like, it on in the it's background. It's like what we used to kind of do on road trips. Uh, is, it's is a we would movie. watch the Teen Wolf movies. <laughs> yeah. And we would watch the first one and be like, yay, Teen Wolf. And then it would be like later in the road trip at that point. And then we put in Teen Wolf 2 and we were like, all right, maybe I'll nod off for part of it. And then wake up for Send Me an Angel. And then yeah, kill yourself. And, and the I Like Mashed Potatoes. I like mashed potatoes. Uh, that's it for Teen Wolf. That's Teen Wolf 2. I've created a monster. Our second movie of the night, okay. I'm going to give to Sullivan, right. because he was the big advocate for this yes. one. Thumb Wars. Thumb Wars. Episode 1, The Phantom Cuticle. Thumb Wars, The Phantom Cuticle, Every Hand Has a Thumb. This movie was, uh, interesting. Harvest, harvest, harvest. All you care about is the stupid harvest. You don't care about me. I want to see the universe. You don't know who I am inside. You never have. I'm going to run away. What a whiner that kid is. <laughs> you gotta pee on your head, dear. It is bad. I will start <laughs> off by saying it is bad. There's this man, his name is Steve Odekirk. And He's a he huge is a pervert. Steve Odekirk is a pervert. <laughs> Cut to montage of scenes from yes. this fucking movie. <laughs> He definitely has a foot fetish and 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 a finger, finger and foot fetish because there are toes in this movie too. That's true. There's a family of toes in the uh, cantina mm -hmm. bar scene. If you're gonna be calling the shots, you're gonna be calling them from Alpha Centauri Six, it's which actually one. is one of the better scenes because you see like they, you they see tried, like cool little they thumbs. They cleverly and... recreated the, yes. the, the 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 shots in the cantina of like the cool monster designs, but with a thumb spin, yes. which was interesting. It goes like the dumb route of giving people like stupid names. It's never clever with the names. Like, no. It's like Dark Helmet Man is Darth Vader and uh, Bunhead? Bunhead Bun for Bun Leia. Bun is Leia and, and Loke. Loke is Luke. <laughs> <laughs> and what Obi is Obi Wan? Obi Kenobi's? Scooby Doo V. No, Obi. Oh shit. Ubi. Obi Doo <laughs> Scooby Dooby Banooby. Ubi Doob Scooby Dooby Banooby? One and the same. It's the most confusing movie you will ever see. What else and it's not say? even really a movie. <laughs> the oh, opening of the fuck. movie is Steve Odekirk. Oh, in like in, a dark in, room. Just a his black, like, shadow version of himself talking. And he's like, I want to tell you why I made this film. <laughs> and then and then it's like hard cut to the, like, monkey, monkey with the symbols. With the symbols oh, and his face a thumb, is like, and then uh, his face is like pixelated, pixelated out. And like there's a little like he's thumb. A criminal, and, and it's the thumb, creepiest and like, shot and it's, anyone's ever seen. The thumbs are are little thumb puppets with yes. annoying orange style faces on yes. them. Yes. And then like arms coming Full out. bodies. That's all. <laughs> that's the. It's literally that's everything. a Star Wars movie with thumbs Wait, that. Wait, no, I need that. Is, uh, Tom, can you grab it? Yeah, I got oh, it. Yeah, because we have to do the thing, we to do the the thing at the end. Yeah. All right. All right so our third, third film of the yes. night, which I will give to Tommy to yes. talk about, Tommy loves is Surf's, uh, Surf's up. up. So this is a documentary about the penguin named uh, Cody, uh, played by Shia LaBeouf. And now, when you say documentary, it's you have to, obviously not. It's a, a fake documentary. documentary. It's a mockumentary. It's animated. Uh, it's right there. Thank you. Thank Whoa! You what's the? What is that? <laughs> what is that? It's a sound thing. It's a microphone. What's up, man? I'm Cody. And you're what? 14, 15 years uh, old. Uh, 17 years of age. And uh, <laughs> any other skills besides surfing? Like, like what? Like singing and dancing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me, man. I just surf. Loser. I just... So it's about Cody. He lives in Antarctica. You know, he's having a rough time, and he looks up to Big Z. Until Big Z did it. Could you tell us who Big Z was? Who is Big Z? You're asking the right guy. You got, you got that far. 
Z is <laughs> everything. Big Z is surfing, man. I mean, he's... The May Will has not been an ocean before Z. Z they invented the ocean for him. And he's got to... He's trying to live awesome up to those expectations. If I'm being honest here, it's pretty damn good. It's a, it's good a pretty movie. decent movie. Yes. What it is not is entertaining. No. That's true. And we realize that about not... 25 minutes yes. in. Yeah, this isn't bad. Amazing job. It's, it's not a bad movie. Up and all. It's a Nothing movie. entertaining is happening really here. Extra, extra well, and so we decided to go with a different film that was on the wheel and talk about that instead. And holy shit, it was we fan hit fucking fantastic. We hit the jackpot. We hit, I think, the biggest jackpot on our best of I think so, so far. I, think I don't know so. if anything could ever top this. We watched the, the Forgotten, Forgotten Orb. Oh my word. Tama and there have been many moons since the gods came to visit. Can you talk about the Forgotten Orb? The Forgotten Orb is the... From an outside perspective, because we are stars of the film. It's, it's the lost film of Finnegan and Sullivan Clusham. That's right. It is truly a masterpiece. I mean, I'm not sure if I've seen a better fucking film. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I... Just a simple, just basic understanding of the plot. There are aliens invading, uh... A small middle school, and these children elementary, are, elementary, elementary school, school, and these children are trying to survive. And if I was to go into detail, I couldn't because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, where is that emergency bucket at? Oh boy, doing the potty dance. Woo! Yeah, it's so bad. The person who really makes this whole thing come together was our janitor named Dan. And Dan, <laughs> Mr. Dan, Mr. Dan, uh, is a talented man. He's a great editor. <laughs> He's a great cinematographer. He is. He does a lot of good camera work. He was movements. our DP, and he loves to cut to black at random <laughs> throughout the film. I don't know either, so don't be asking me questions. I'll rate you upstairs. But he also stars in the film. He does. He is, he's one of the most more the prominent actors. Roles. Yes. Uh, he plays a time traveler. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Loosely based on Doctor Who. Yes. He has some interesting ideas on how time <laughs> bending works. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, my machine creates a wormhole. Yes, and it takes time and bends it. It's like a big long rod. <laughs> that you can it's bend. A big long rod, and you put it in your mouth, <laughs> and when you do it, you <laughs> have a special happy comes out. Oh, God! <laughs> Mr. Dan was an educated man. A group of kids, including myself, got superpowers. Yeah, that's a so. Oh, sub oh, I got this part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly so, what I'm talking about. So, the best character in the whole, this whole goddamn movie is Trevor. 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 He, his powers are, he can, he has like x-ray vision, and by God, that man brought me to tears. Oh, man. So I can Not for this concrete thing. Weird. I feel like it should need something. Yeah. I can't put into words how much I love that man. He's very entertaining to Trevor watch. is very good. And I wish he, he's I wish very, he had pursued an acting career. He's very truthfully. genuinely like sweet. Yes. Like like all things aside, like he is he does pull off like a sweet. A hundred percent. Oh he does. It, it's so great. Can we That's talk about semantics. Our performances. I know you want to talk <laughs> about it. Yeah. Do you, want me, do you want me to talk about you? Guys yeah. Know? What did you think of our so, performances? Finn has a. Very, I was a lead in the film. He, his performance, he definitely has the the most character in the movie. <laughs> Oh, I was in the film. He gets consistently begging for attention, <laughs> and not so much else. begging. 
he gets abducted. Because he's so fucking stupid, they send him back down to Earth because they don't want him. I don't understand. This one's brain is even less developed than the other. Wait, on. This fucker knows even <laughs> fucking less. How the fuck yeah, is that Yeah, I play like a huge dumbass <laughs> and I talk And then to they send him back to Earth. like this. What's happening? Actually, I don't know what's going on. And then you walk inside and you don't do anything for the rest of the movie. <laughs> What's happening? I will say Until the end, one of the final <laughs> shots before the like credit interview things, oh, you're walking everybody they're like the one of the kids <laughs> in the in the classroom turns out to be a secret alien and he brainwashes everybody and he's like, nothing happened today. And then he's like, recess time, and all the kids are going out to recess, and Sullivan is like one of the last ones, and he looks directly into the camera, and he goes, What's recess? <laughs> recess! Yeah! Recess! No, there's recess anyways, but... What's recess? And that, and, and it's like, you're, you just want us to pay attention to you. Yeah. Anyway. Right. We have four films here. Yes. <clears throat> Teen Wolf 2, Thumb Wars, The Phantom Cuticle, Surf's Up, and The Forgotten Orb. Let us start. What is the worst of the worst? Thumb Wars. Thumb Wars? I just, I found it so unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Sullivan, what is your vote for worst? I will also worst? say Thumb Wars. That's surprising. Yes. That is surprising. Is it? It was so unsatisfying. Um, I thought you were going to say Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is... Here's the difference. Teen Wolf is a film. You know, it, it is competent. There are scenes that lead into other scenes. It doesn't jump around everywhere. And I guess you can say that Thumb Wars doesn't do that. But Thumb Wars, like Tommy said, was really unpleasant <laughs> and <laughs> terrifying to watch. I'm agreeing. Okay. I think Thumb Wars is the worst of the worst. Yes. I think I enjoyed it the least of anybody. Because if you did. cut to me, like, even at the start... I was just sitting there like, I don't know. <laughs> like, you guys were laughing at it, and I felt like I was just in the middle of you guys, and I was like, this is awful. I felt disgusted by this movie. What is... Best of the worst. I will say The Forgotten Orb. You're going to vote for The Forgotten Orb? The Forgotten Orb, you know, I got the behind-the-scenes scoop on it all. You know, I know everything about it. And it was fun to see Tommy's reaction. I think we had a great time watching it. And it wasn't boring. You know, it kept our attention. That's why we're in such good moods right now is yeah. because of the Forgotten Orb. Yeah. And God damn it, it was fucking brilliant. And I <laughs> love that. Uh, surf's up. Surf's up? It's really? Because, okay, it might not been the most entertaining movie that we watched, mm -hmm. which I agree with. But it was actually kind of good, and I want to finish it. <laughs> so, <laughs> we might so finish up. it someday. I'm going to go with The Forgotten Orb as Best of the Worst. Then That's going to conclude this episode of Best of the Worst. Gooba, gooba, gooba. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Fuck you. Best scene in the movie. Yeah, that's what I remember. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs>